All right, guys, today I'm back at SeaWorld Orlando. I've been here since July 2018. Last time I was here, Infinity Falls was still under construction, along with uh, Sesame World. So definitely excited to check it all out again. But yeah, enough chit chat and let's get inside the park. All right, guys, and just like that, I'm inside the park. Just like last time, I think uh, Kraken and Mako opened up at 10.30. And Mantha should be open at 10. Let's go off of Manta, it was just as good as from what I remember of the part where I uh, have to the brake run, go through that one turn by the water, and then it looks like you're about to hit the waterfall, which is probably my favorite part of the uh, ride. I'm heading this way, hopefully uh, Mako and uh, Kraken's open, I guess we'll find out. And over here you get a nice view of uh, Icebreaker, which is still under construction.
Mako is running. Are there people on it? You will find out. And it's open. Let's see if my opinion changes because I actually like uh, Manta better than uh, Mako.
just got off of Mako twice in a row. Now, it's probably my second favorite hyper coaster, right behind Goliath. But both coasters are unique. The Mako goes over the water, and Goliath goes over the uh, road and goes outside the park. But each have some ejector and float air time, which I love. But Mako's probably number two for me. But it actually might be my new favorite in the park. I might have just beat Manta. Alright guys, I made it to Antarctica. I know the journey to Atlantis is close for refurbishment or something. But last time I was here, I got on that, so it's not a big deal that it's close. But, heading towards Kraken. Hopefully get a few rides on that, because hopefully it's a uh, walk-on. Finally made the Kraken. It wasn't going cracking, but it looks like it just broke down. Time yeah. to check out the shark encounter. Long before dinosaurs, long before birds, long before humans, there were sharks. Just so you guys know. I haven't seen any sharks just yet, just really fish. I was in here the last time I was here as well too. First ever ride on Infinity Falls. This is probably gonna be my new favorite uh, River Rapids. Infinity Falls. Last time I was here, this is still under construction. Yeah, just about Infinity Falls for the first time and there's some parts where we're gotten so flashy and moved around and uh, tried to avoid the uh, splashes because I have my phone and my uh, sunglasses on me but you do get soaked in the shy but I didn't get too bad since I was moving around a lot but yeah it's a lot of fun since I'm over here I might as well check out Sesame Street Land since this was still under construction the last time I was here but they actually have a coaster which I think I could probably get on, so I might try that. It's like Sesame Street Land is deserted. Yeah, the theming in here is incredible though. There's some meet and greets over there. There's a coaster right there. I love you, Skirt! 
happy. Okay, they did a really good job of this lens. We should have this when I was going up. Okay, stay right there, buddy. Big Bird, come on out. All of our friends are here. Hello there. So I just got off of this. It's called Rover, I'm guessing. I forget the name of it, but this is credit 201 for me. It's a small little kitty coaster. Bacon cheeseburger with a nice view of icebreaker. No, I actually ate here last time as well too. And I think the tower is open today, so I'll get a ride on that later on. Get some views of the park. go off a cracking. I said they're having train issues so they put the one train back. Now I'm guessing they're putting a the third train on the uh, tracks now. Yeah I was in line before and I actually broke down again. Yeah, Mako too. Since right by the water.
got some flamingos at the front of the park. Right across from Manta. Welcome aboard the SeaWorld Sky Tower. As you take your ride up to a height of 300 feet, we thought it would be helpful to share some SeaWorld tips that might make your day even more enjoyable. For your own safety, please stay in your seats for the entire ride. And no smoking, please. Did you know that SeaWorld has rescued and rehabilitated more than 30,000 animals over the past 50 years? You can learn more by watching our television series, Sea Rescue. Be inspired by the exciting real-life animal rescue stories and gain a better understanding of the rich array of sea life with which we share our planet. Watch Sea Rescue this weekend on ABC. Naturally, SeaWorld is known for world-class aquarium collections. Believe it or not, you can find some amazing aquariums in the gift shop of Journey to Atlantis, where sharks circle above you and schools of fish swim around your feet. You'll see Mako, Orlando's tallest, fastest, and longest roller coaster. SeaWorld's 200 foot tall hyper coaster, Mako is named for one of the ocean's fastest known sharks and reaches top speeds of 73 miles per hour along nearly a mile of track. <laughs> Oh, it's mayhem over there. <laughs> All right, now I do it for the trip to uh, Sea World Orlando. I was able to get on everything multiple times. I even saw the uh, dog show. Well, it seemed like a lot of the shows were only like one or two playing throughout the entire day. Wish they kind of had more. That's why I didn't see any like dolphin or sea lions or anything like that. But next box I visit will be Disney. As always, thanks for watching and peace out. <laughs>